Hi guys, today is Monday. It's already about almost five o'clock. Um, this morning, Kayla and my hubby woke up with sore throats, so she wasn't feeling good, so I kept her home. So just Kristen went to school. Kristen has her scoliosis appointment tomorrow. Hopefully, um, I'll keep you posted. Hopefully, it hasn't progressed. Hopefully, it still just stays the same. And did you hear the news about Luke Perry? Oh my God, I was the biggest 90210, Beverly Hills 90210 fan as a teenager. And I watch him on Riverdale as Archie Andrews' um, father, Fred. And when I saw the news, like, I literally cried. I mean, at 52 years old, I had a stroke. I mean, it's devastating. And, um, just thinking of his family during this time. You know, a few years back when my brother was 40, um, 46, so 46 I think he had he had a stroke he had a, a brain aneurysm that caused him to have a stroke and he was only 46 but he survived I mean he still has a little prop like problems where he's on disability and but for the longest time like his speech was slurred you couldn't really understand him and he still has trouble with um one arm I think it's his left arm I'm not sure he lives in Florida, but um, yeah, so when that happened, I was in shock, you know? So, I mean, they say, I mean, you, you think usually, you know, when you're older, but it can happen to anybody, you know, whether you're healthy, whether you're not, but, you know, everybody's paying their respect to him, and he seemed like a great man, like kind and humble and just loved by Hollywood, so... So it's good to know that. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I worked at the library. Um, I got some new pictures. Let me show you my pictures. Well, actually, they're not new, but I just um, blew them up. Let me show you them. So these are 16 by 20, and that is of Chrislyn, and then that is of Kayla. These are the ones I took of them. I always forget, I have portrait mold. Use the portrait molds. They look really good, if I do say so myself. They look professional. It looks like it could be in a magazine. I love that picture of Chrislyn. Then here's my K-Bear. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, and I am getting ready to take Chrislyn to her scoliosis appointment. So wish us luck there. I'll keep you updated about that. And also, Kayla is still sick. She has a sore throat and a sore, sore tummy, so I am keeping her home. Today, her best friend was sick last week for a couple of days, so... She could have caught it from her because they're pretty close. Um, so, yeah. So, so that's all I'm going to do right now. I'm having my coffee. I have it in my to-go cup. And I love these three sisters. So, it's hot. I use it for Halloween, like the whole month of October. But it's my, it's easier because my, the ones I got from Disneyland, my Mickey Mouse one, you know, you get it as a souvenir, like, from Hungry Bear, you know, you can buy it for 10 bucks. And well, anyway, you know, when I'm when I put it, it's hard, it doesn't, it's not steady in the car. So this has no handle, so it's easier to just fit it, fit it in there. So, yeah, so we're leaving a little bit early because the parking lot is incredibly small at the doctor's office, and a lot of times there's like no stalls. I mean, you can park on the street, but I'd rather park in the parking lot. So, we're going just maybe um, a tad bit early just so I can get parking and she didn't have to wear her brace last night and she doesn't have to wear it this morning so she's going into the doctor's office probably after we're done with the doctor's office he's probably going to put it back on her so yeah we're getting okay, ready. So great news um at Kristen's appointment for her scoliosis um she was um, diagnosed at a 32 degree and it is still a 32 degrees and when she wears her brace it's at a 13 degree so he's very happy it hasn't progressed because that's what you want you want it to stay the same and she will have to wear the brace for two years or until she stops growing so they kind of average about um two years um give or take but so probably when she's 15 she doesn't have to wear it anymore but yeah, nothing but good good news. We go back in four months, so we have an appointment already for July, July 9th, I believe, 
So we're we're really happy with the results. The brace is working. She's not progression progressing. And fun fact, I told the doctor, I said, you're a TV star. I said, I saw you at, on Sister Wife. He goes, oh my God. He's like, I'm never going to live that down. He's like, you should be doing something else than watching that show. <laughs> but it was funny because I was like, when I saw him on TV, I'm like, hey, I know that guy. You know, he's treating one of their daughter who has um, scoliosis. So that was fun. But anyway, so we had great news at the doctors. That's what you want. You want it to just stay the same. You don't want it to... To progress so we're very happy with with the report Good morning on this wet and rainy day in vegas it is wednesday and kayla is feeling much better last night i could tell she was getting much better because she was sitting up in bed going up and down the stairs and a little bit doing more things and i said is your throat or tummy still hurting and she's like no so she's fine so she's back off in school off to school Kristen is fine. She has a test. Wish her good luck. <laughs> test in science. She said she studied. It's a vocabulary test. It's just the definitions you need to know. So hopefully she does good in that class. And let me see. What else? So today is Wednesday. It's rainy. It was windy last night. Very windy last night. I got to go outside. I haven't been in my backyard in a while. I have my one glove laying down on the rocks. And that was from... Um, well, that was from what a couple of weeks ago when it snowed my one glove and then the tr it was so windy one of my chair rode so i gotta go pick that up i haven't been in the backyard in a while and so yeah i'm not sure what we're going to be doing but right now i am having my coffee i think i'm gonna maybe make something to eat i keep rearranging my house like right now i'm working on the frames and i need to buy me two more frames i might buy one at a time um, that's how I budget one at a time right. and then I need to do my cl linen closets I need to rearrange that because I have things like from their school their old yearbooks and just thrown in there kind of like deorganized and did I tell you they are officially enrolled in their new school it's actually um the same company of the school that they go to now the charter school but they just actually it's not even finished being built it's going to be finished built before school starts in august it's um it's um <laughs> their mascot is pirates because right now they're panthers but it's the same school um basically that they just built a high school well actually it's built from grade k through grade 12 so i'm moving them both over that way, I don't have to worry about Kayla. She will stay there till 12th grade. Kristen will be the first graduating high school, first graduating class from that, from that school. She's going to go into ninth grade, and Kayla will be going into seventh grade. So I uploaded all their documents. They're good to go. So yeah, and it's actually like the same distance from where their current school is it's just i turn at a different road and it's gonna be brand spanking new so that will be good and then actually they're gonna see a lot of kids from their current school because a lot of people are leaving that school going to the new school so hopefully hopefully it will be better because this principal she comes from another school that's they're all in the same we're all in the same company and she seems really nice really good and i've emailed the school a couple of times because i had questions and they're prompt at getting back to me so yeah i hopefully we enjoy it because i know Kristen is having issues with teachers at school and whatnot and i just because her friend was just pulled out from school and her friend is doing homeschooling and actually her friend is doing much better doing homeschooling some people you know can't learn in that that brick wall kind of thing and some people do better by themselves you know and if they need help you can go on the computer and there's there's teachers to talk to on the computer but my last resort is pulling her out to do homeschooling because she needs to be more social i'm like you know when i was in high school i um i joined the flag team you know maybe there's something you can do you know join something that's how you meet people you know so we'll see Guys, it is Thursday and today's like our Friday because the girls do not have school tomorrow it's just because I have no idea why it's not a holiday or anything but anyway I wanted to show you what I got in the mail I needed a new phone case because my rubber around it well on one side it's a little bit coming it off I think because I stuff it in my purse I've almost had it a year but I got me 
a new phone case. We like this brand, um, Specs. And this case, I've had this one for my older phone. Um, I had it and I liked it. So we went with the same brand because it does work when it falls. Like this one is for eight feet. The one I have now is like for 10 feet, but I seen it because one day in the kitchen, there's no carpet, it's just tile. And I accidentally dropped my phone because I was carrying too much things. And I saw it just slide, just fall, it was like in slow motion, but it does, it bounced off like the corners. So it really protected my phone and then it landed flat where the glass part is facing up. So I had no dent, nothing happened to my phone, but I really like it. Um, that's the brand we use for the kids once too. But yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> so I'll show you how it looks out of the box. It's pink, see-through, like clear glitter. And I love it. And it doesn't have any of the rubber part. So it's not going to um, get ruined. So yeah, so changing it up. I really love it. It's cute. And I got it on eBay brand spanking new for $9.99. Can't beat the price. Guys, it's already Friday evening. The girls, like I said, they didn't have school today. And um, the hubby, well, he comes home from work late, but he's been having a lot of anxiety at work and whatnot. So he didn't go to sleep till like 5.30 in the morning. So I needed to go out and get water anyway. But me and the girls, we got ready. We went to Target, did a little shopping. You know, you can get stuff when the hubby's not there to tell you no. And um, then we went to eat lunch and then we came home. But it was nice, just the girls and I. Um, yeah, you know, cause the husband, he always, my mom even says that too. We gotta go shopping without, without the hubby because he kind of rushes us and we don't feel like we can do whatever we want or you know, whatnot. But anyway, so I got Kristen these sheets. They're a gray sheet set. Comes with a flat, the fitted, and the pillowcase. And it was $9.99. That was the regular price. $9.99. I swear they're cheaper than Walmart. And it's a nice gray. It actually matches her gray comforter. And she has gold stars on her comforter. So it actually matches that. Well, we got her comforter from Target. And it has like elastics over the corners. So like it wraps around your mattress. So, so it doesn't come off. Isn't that cool? Because I'm the one I got her. I got this cheap one from um, Ross's. It was on clearance for $6.99. And it always comes off. So this is a good deal. $9.99. You can't go wrong for that. So anyway, look at my look at my grays, guys. I got so much gray hairs. Look at that. It's all gray. I'm tired of covering my hair. Plus, it's really bad for your hair. So, I'm like, Kayla always says, oh, look at all your grays. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to go all natural. You know, this is me. Grays. I'm old. I am old, guys. They're like, no. But but we'll see. Sometimes they have um, like touch-ups and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I know I don't like my grays, but I'm just tired of coloring them because it's not good for my hair. But anyway yeah so that's about uh, about it I ha i'm still loving my zelda i'm addicted to i think it's hyrule warriors for the switch i play it every day i'm addicted my fingers wrist and arm hurts because i'm constantly on it constantly playing it kayla says i am addicted yes i am addicted i love it i heard they're coming out with another zelda something for the switch zelda awaken or something like that i'm going to get that when it comes out pretty soon i might get the mario odyssey one so we'll see until next time i'll see you next week saturday